Hello, Carrie here. Today I'm going to be following a tutorial by CC Creations. She's um, done some planets uh, doodles in watercolour and I'm going to try the same. So I've just pre-wet my watercolour pans while I prepare the surface. I'm using a three quarter of an inch flat brush. And I'm going to um, apply some water to the paper in a circle. Now this is very inexpensive watercolour paper. Um, so I have a bit of difficulty getting it to stay wet actually. It seems to have soaked up the water very quickly. Obviously it hasn't got any sizing on. I probably should have used better quality watercolour paper but I was just experimenting. And so now I'm just applying the colour in circles. I managed to fit four on this one page. And I'm trying to do what uh, Cece did, and that is to use some of the colours that are already in my mixing wells. So I'm not entirely sure what they uh, consist of. <laughs> then I managed to fit the fourth one in there. I probably could have squeezed another, five, uh, another fifth one in, but I didn't. <laughs> Uh, she used kosher salt, but I only have table salt. Well, actually, I realised I do have a salt grinder and I could have pinched some out of that. Now, I thought I'd experiment with scraping some of the metallic pencil onto these, but it just seemed to make them muddy. Sorry about my head. So instead of that, I've decided to get some acrylic paint and I'm going to uh, wet it down and I'm going to splash it on using my paintbrush. And then I'm going to apply some of the paint to the circles as well. You can't really see the sheen until you move the paper around, which I'll do at the very end. Now I'm applying some little dots of colour like she did. This is the uh, darker blue. I think it's a Tharlow blue. And the colour, because it's wet, it's spreading out. Now I'm adding a little bit more salt. Adding a little uh, purple there. I like the way the watercolour does its own thing. I'm re-wetting this circle and I'm adding some more colour to that one as well. But that doesn't spread out the same way as the watercolour does because it's acrylic and it's behaving quite differently. So I'm just making little little circular dots. It's quite hard to do with a square paint uh, paintbrush. <laughs> and it's uh, been outside to dry because it's a sunny day. And I've got this Uniball Sigma pen, uh, pen and I'm drawing some circles. There we go, Uniball Sigma. And I'm going to draw some circles on the dark areas of each circle. So it's all about circles. I think D uh, Cece's challenge was to uh, only use circles, although she cheated a little bit and put some lines in, which I will do as well. And I'm beginning to think mine look more like donuts than planets, but never mind. They won't do when I've finished. I found this stage very relaxing and enjoyable actually. I was just going by my intuition and following vaguely um, CC's tutorial. And now I'm using a Faber-Castell pit pen and it's a very fine nib and I'm going to draw some larger circles holding the pen at the very end so I have very limited control. I'm doing various sizes as well and now I'm drawing some little circles and dots. I 
zoomed in a bit better so you can see because these details are quite small. And a Posca pen. It's actually ivory in colour but because I've used it on some other paint the nib has actually picked up some colour and it's quite nice actually. You can't see it too well on there but on the white paper it comes out as blue. So I'm quite pleased about that actually. Happy accidents. Eventually the blue clears off and I begin to get more of a cream. There we go. It's a bit cleaner now. And now I'm using some acrylic paint in a bottle with a fine nozzle, making dots and circles. Go around the circles again. I was going to try the metallic pen, I was going to try the white pencil, none of those worked. <laughs> so I decided to do a few lines like Cece did. I don't really quite like those actually some there. I love when I'm drawing doing hatching. And now I'm doing some little dots with the gold acrylic and a finer paintbrush. I touch up some of the splatters as well. I'm drawing around some of the areas that look as if they're circles. A little bit more hatching there. Decide to touch up that bottom left hand one, it's a bit dull, so I've introduced some more colour. It's a bit more gold in there. And that's it, I finished them off and then I cut them up into tags. I made this tag, it still looks a bit like a donut, doesn't it? Never mind. And I put some gold around the edges to finish it off. You can see the shimmer a little bit when I wiggle it about. I made this tag I just put an eyelet through some ribbon I like that one that's so pretty and two ATCs which I'm going to pop into a journal and they can be written on the back so I like them cut up so I'm just going to pop them inside this um, one of my little journals that I'm working in my little junk journal I'll pop one in there and this one can go in there when I finish that page it's ready and I've made a pocket in the left of this one. I'm going to pop those two in there. I just need to work on the right hand side of that page. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.